fight the fight of faith. I don't look away. I don't run away facing all of my demons. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So, this is quite interesting. In fact, this is probably the best screensaver customization we've ever got from Apple when it comes to the Mac operating system. So, on Mac OS 14 Sonoma, there's now the ability to be able to include, download, and set live screensavers and wallpapers. And if we go to the Mac OS 14 Sonoma preview, this is the first thing that Apple mentions. They are the new stunning screensavers and live wallpapers. These are new slow motion screensavers of breathtaking locations from around the world. They look really good on your Mac's large display. And when you log in, they seamlessly become your desktop wallpaper. So when I made this video, I actually was thinking of people that have different Apple devices like your iPhone or maybe your iPad, your Apple TV, or even if you have a Mac that isn't currently supported on Mac OS 14 Sonoma and you want to be able to access the system files or download them and set them as your wallpapers and screensavers on different devices devices then this is the video for you and I'm going to be showing you just that but before we get to that if we go to our system preferences to show you how you first have to download this you go into your system settings and then go to where it says wallpaper right now you can see the wallpaper that I have on my device for example if I wanted to set let's say Dubai skyline as the wallpaper you can see I just have it there and the ones that have the play icon like this one I have the ability to be able to see them as live screen savers and if you haven't downloaded these you will see a download icon besides the play so I'll choose one that I really like Los Angeles overpass right there and if we go to the screen saver page you can see we have the same now not as wallpaper but as screen savers and on top here we have a preview of what we can set right there so I'll uh, set it for my secondary display that I'm filming on and I'll set this one as my screen saver if you haven't downloaded it again you can also download them from the wallpaper subsection or the screen saver subsection we are in right here and I basically downloaded everything and once you have downloaded this this is basically how you can get a small preview if you click where it says preview you can see how stunning these images look they are probably 4k around 120 fps and the traffic moves around in a seamless smooth manner some of these were taken by a drone and I saw a thread on X where people were claiming that some of others were actually shot using like a helicopter so they look stunning they look amazing and then when you do something on your computer you notice how they slowly come to a stop really nice so now let's get to the interesting thing on how you can be able to find and download the system files so if we open finder it just opened on my secondary monitor but if i drag finder right here you can see how my finder looks and if I go to this favorite tab, you can see we have iCloud, shared iCloud, we have favorites, this is the favorite, and then we have the tags subsection. Sometimes if you are the user that has logged in, you will see your name here, but the folder we are looking for isn't shown here. So we are looking for the library folder and you can see here, it's not showing. There's ways that you can get the library folder to show up here, but those are not the safest method. If you don't know what you're doing, sometimes you might damage your system files. So if you want to show your disk or your hard drive that is on your Mac, that is how we want to do it so we want to go to where it says finder right there and if we go to where it says settings you can see our finder settings just popped up right here and you can see favorites this is our favorites tab you can see everything that we've selected here if we select music you see that music will come up as the last thing but i don't download music but this is just a demo but the location that you want to set here is this one that says locations so 
if you click where it says locations right here you can see we have um, my name or my macbook pro and then we have hard drives or hard disks that are connected here and if you have external disk you can show it so this one is our max internal hard drive so if we select it here you can see there's a new subsection that pops up called locations and it's under there or if you select your name with your macbook device you notice that it pops up there so either way you can access what i'm about to show you using the this section or using your name and your macbook device so for example if you go into this location with my name and my macbook pro you can see that we have the hard drive so the same location can be reached here it's just that it's a step further so this is essentially this macintosh hd is basically this hard drive that's here that has been opened like this you notice we have four folders and we have also if we go here we have four folders so it's the same if you don't want to have both shown and you just want to have one you can choose to have your location or your macintosh hd or if you want to show your name you can just do that and you essentially be able to get to the same location so if you go to where it says library right here then once you are in library you want to look for the folder that says application support right there and once you are in application support you get to see a lot of system files that you know some of these are application files that you have so your apps use these to be able to work properly like final cut pro so you don't want to go ahead and start to delete things haphazardly so once you are in this application support folder you want to go ahead and look for com folders you see that there's a lot of com folders if you have more apps you see more com folders but for me you can see I have quite a few but our, the folder that you are looking for is this one that's called com.appleidleassetsd so once you see it double click it and open it and then if you see here you see some data that you don't want to delete and also these ones you also don't want to delete but if you click where it says customer right there you notice that we have different folders with different video resolution and formats so if you click here that where it says 2k you can see it's vacant if you click the next one it's also blank this one too is blank but if you go to the last one that is 4k sdr 24 fps the highest possible resolution right now you can see we have it there and if you go to 120 fps it's vacant so it's in this folder that you are looking for that says 4k sdr 24 fps and when you click and open it look at that we have all our live screen savers that we've downloaded so if you click preview right here you can see how it is and this is essentially the same thing that we're looking for you see now it's moving fast and you get to see the duration of the whole video you can see it's like six minutes and cool thing that i want to show you i'll show it to you soon but i just want to show you that yeah here we have 4k sdr 24 frames per second videos that are available so if you haven't downloaded some in your wallpaper section right here you won't be able to see them in that folder so that's why it's important to download the ones that you want to be able to access so once you've done that then you can come follow the same path that i did and you'll be able to see all your screen savers right here and they are in stunning hd resolution wow these ones look amazing so i want to show you for example this this one too I, i'm just enjoying this you can see they are in slow motion but you know you can change this and you can actually open these with um let's go for example to this top one and see the video size or the file size so if you right click on it and then you say get info or you press command i you can see the size on this it's about 445.4 megabytes so quite a big file right there and you can see the name of it so once you basically downloaded them you are free to be able to do what you want with them just don't haphazardly start to delete files that you don't know as there may sometimes be crucial for your mac os function so 
the thing that I uh, recommend doing if you want to copy them all or you want to copy a few just select the few that you want to copy and once you are happy with the ones that you want to copy you can just click here right click and say copy or if you want to copy all of them just say command O or command hold command and then press a and you can click right there and say copy just don't move them out of the folder like by just dragging them and taking them to a different location just leave them as they are and once you've copied the ones that you want just say copy and go to your desktop or to your location where you want to paste them and then create a new folder and paste them there so that's all you have to do you just copy and paste them in the location or in the USB stick or external hard drive that you want to be able to access them from and a quick trick I want to show you here if you manage to watch to the end thank you you are a real one so if you play any specific video that you want for example if we go to this one play it using QuickTime you can see QuickTime opened up on my display here but on QuickTime since these are QuickTime media player by default selected if you play in a video right here you can see on QuickTime it still is in slow motion but you can see under QuickTime you can actually change the speed or the slow motion speed so if I was to drag this cursor a little bit maybe to the front a little bit and then bring this guy back a bit once this video reaches this uh, little cursor on the bottom or little line it will start to slow down so that is the motion that you see when you log into your device and you can see it right there you, if you don't want it to be slow or if you want to make edits then you can drag this cursor all the way then your video will have the same motion throughout so that's how you do it and th that's the advantage of, of using QuickTime as your default player if you want the whole video to be super slow you can do that right here and then once you've played around with these using QuickTime it will actually prompt you and ask you if you want to save the changes so if I was to go and close this right here you can see it's asking me to save this that I've made in a location so choose a different location from that which is containing this so you don't want to override the existing file if you want to save it on your desktop or in the new folder that you have selected select that and then save it there so I don't want to save it now so I'll just click delete so it won't delete the actual file you can see the actual file is here the original one but it just won't save the one that I was playing around with the uh, slow motion cursors basically that is how you do it this is something that's pretty cool I like this and if you have an Apple TV that you are wanting to set these as your screen savers or wallpapers or on your iPad or whatever device you want to even on your Windows device and give it a free upgrade well now you know how to do it shout out to my friend Aaron from Zolotech who helped me be able to locate these files faster and uh, that's about it for me guys if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and I'll be covering Mac OS 14 Sonoma in more details and showing you some of the new features and changes and settings that you might want to change to have a better and enhanced user experience so stay safe and i'll see you in the next one peace and I'm flexing, I'm lady, cause life is a blessing I'm currently counting my blessing, ascending for heavens I'm headed away from the universe, I'm coming back, not as human things Came to the touch, I'm a sinner, but not a beginner Though every day is a beginning, I'm critical, breathing, I'm dusty I'm kicking my inches, you nasty, I speed on your Misery home, you, misery home, you I never liked you, and you never liked me, say one But nothing contagious, it's my anger Riding around in the city, I'm so